Early in the project, one of my first purchases was a welder. In order to drive it, I bought a cheap Chinese Ducar generator, which had 15 horsepower, but was capable of supplying the 200 amps I needed. It was actually quite a good buy. Unfortunately, it's really noisy to be around and you have to wear ear defenders. I met a man who lives off grid and I asked him what he did for power. He said he'd tried a number of generators, from very small ones, to diesel engines, to car motors, to cheap generators, to expensive ones. I asked which one he preferred. He took me round the back and he showed me a Honda EU30. He said it was the best generator he'd ever owned. He said he runs it for about 13 hours a day, and all he does is put petrol and oil in. We were able to stand next to it and have a conversation and I was very impressed. I did some research on what other people had done. The small generators would supply me what I needed. I was recommended to get the slightly larger 3 kilowatt generator because this was the first generator capable of running an air conditioning unit and in Australia in the bush this seemed like quite a good idea. I unpacked it, put oil in and it started first kick. It was brilliant. The Honda generator can start with a pull cord or it's got a key switch and it'll start off the battery and starter motor that's built in. So here's a side-by-side -side sound test to show you the difference. At the moment we're using the generator for one hour in the morning and a few hours in the evening for computer work or television and we hope to stop using it altogether. <laughs> 